For years, players have been reporting that their Prodigy account was hacked, but I never believed it. I mean, that was impossible, unless you gave someone your login, there was no way to get into someone's account. Little did I know how wrong I was. It all started 7 months ago when I noticed this unique string in Prodigy's link. I wasn't recording at the time since I didn't think much of it. I mean, it was just a string of text, it couldn't mean anything important. But then I pasted in the exact link into Prodigy's search bar and it automatically logged me into my account. Thinking it was because I was already logged into my account, I opened up an incognito window and pasted in the link again, and just as before, I was logged into my account. I thought it was pretty interesting at the time, but I didn't think it would be very useful knowledge since I would have to see someone's link in order to log into their account. And since pretty much no one has their search bar shown in screenshots and videos, I didn't think it would be useful. But a few weeks later, I discovered something else that would put me one step closer to discovering the true power of this knowledge. I was searching through Prodigy's code using Inspect Element. If you don't know what that is, it basically allows you to look through source code, and in Prodigy's case, allows you to find leaks, which is what I primarily use it for. But on that particular day, I wasn't searching for anything. I was just bored and looking through what was there to look at, hoping that maybe I would find something big. But what I found was something that I didn't think was super important, the user ID of all players on screen. I had already known it was possible to find these because it was possible to find players IDs using hacks, but since hacks were gone at the time, this was something that was sort of interesting to me. Although the only thing I could use them for was to duplicate accounts, which I couldn't even do because hacks were down, I kept it in the back of my head so that I could utilize it when hacks were back and I could copy accounts again. I continued to search through and inspect for a while longer until I stumbled upon something, a line that read insert user ID here. I decided to test it out on alt account in case it was some sort of method Prodigy used to catch players searching where they didn't want people to go. So I pasted in my user ID and up popped a 13 digit code. But I had no idea what it meant. But then, I looked at it closer. It was the exact same string as the one in my link. I instantly realized what I had just found. The combination of knowing how to find anyone's user ID and being able to use that ID to find any player's link to log in. I now had the power to log into anyone's Prodigy account, and I was not going to let it go to waste. The first thing I had to do before I even started with some antics was to find out if this had been found by anyone else. I mean, I didn't want my account getting stolen. So after searching for a bit, I didn't find a single person who had talked about how to replicate this exploit. From that point on, I was free to grab any account I wanted. First, I went for the easiest, Mr. Inquiry. Since he streams pretty much every single weekend, I knew that it would be very easy to get his account. So I waited a few days until he streamed, and then when I got the opportunity, I struck. Alright, so it turned out I wasn't recording when I was getting his um, user ID and that stuff, but this is the stream I did it in. I can't remember exactly where I showed up, but yeah, now we are going to go ahead and look at his account. Alright, so we did it. We got Mr. Inquiry's account successfully. So yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look around. So let's look at his items. We can see, yeah, he's got this stuff, this stuff, this stuff. So yeah pretty normal stuff, and yeah, I am insanely happy that this actually is working, and now I think that we're ready to go on to our next account that we're going to be taking. Since I was successful in that, I was ready to move on to my next victim, Prodigy Math Game Player. This one was also going to be pretty easy. All I had to do was ask him in battle, and the next day, his account was now co-owned by me. Alright, we are now on Prodigy Math Game Player's account. 
and I don't know why he doesn't have membership. Maybe it ran out, but this is insane that we actually got this to work. So, we can see that he has this stuff. Let's go. For some reason, my mouse is really laggy right now. But we can go to outfits, and we have this stuff. We can go to wands, and he has these. We can go to relics, boots. So yeah, he has everything that is on his account. So, what am I saying? I sound so weird now, probably. But yeah, we now have access to Prodigy Math Game Player's account. Now there was just one more account I wanted, and this was going to be the hardest one, Camden Bell's account. You see, for years I had been trying to get into contact with Camden Bell, but he would never respond. But then a little something happened that I conveniently made a video on that you can go watch after this explaining how I got him to respond to me, but in summary, he asked me to do a favor for him, and in return, I would get to battle him. Yep, that's right, this whole time there was a second reason I wanted to battle Camden Bell, and that being that I wanted to steal his Prodigy account. So before I started recording the battle, I grabbed his ID, got his account link, and five minutes after battling him, I was logged onto his account. We have just finished battling Camden Bell, and now I am on his account, so let's go ahead and take a look around. So his items are, or not his items, his gold, he only has 391. He's on floor 100, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead and check out his items. So, pretty standard stuff, nothing crazy. And yeah, so I am super happy that we actually got Camden Bell to battle us, and we were able to take his account. And then a few days later, I decided to hack his account and change the password, because for some reason my account's password kept changing, and since he was the only one that had access to my account's login information, he was obviously the one trying to steal my account, so I did that as a bit of revenge. After this, there wasn't really any more accounts that I wanted to take, so for a few months I just laid low and didn't say anything about this exploit. But then a Discord user DM'd me saying that they had found a way to log into anyone's account, and when they showed me how to do it, sure enough, it was the exact exploit that I had found months earlier. At this point, I knew I had to do something. What if this person saw me in game and stole my account? So I contacted the only people that I knew that could do anything about this exploit, Prodigy Support. So I sent them an email and a few days later I got a response back and what they said shocked me. Thanks for contacting Prodigy Customer Support, I'd be happy to help. At this time we don't view this exploit that you have found as a high concern. Our team doesn't feel that this exploit that you have found can be replicated well and for that reason, we will not be resolving this issue. While we can't promise it will be resolved in the future, we'll certainly forward your requests along to our development team for review. As we receive more requests, we can build a case for its removal moving forwards. Thanks again for helping us improve Prodigy by taking the time to provide your suggestion. If you need a hand in it with anything else within the next three days, please don't hesitate to reopen this ticket by responding to this email. If you need help beyond that, we encourage you to create a ticket at prodigy.com support. Are you kidding me? I have found probably the most dangerous exploit in Prodigy history, and the support team doesn't do anything to resolve it? And now that others have found out how to replicate this glitch, literally no account is safe. But then, I looked in the bottom left corner, and it all made sense. That's right, this whole video was an April Fool's prank. Did you believe anything that I was saying? 
Well, none of it's true except for the fact that I'm pretty sure Camden Bell tried to steal my Prodigy account since my password was changed to 1234 multiple times. It's not that anymore, by the way. And I wasn't the one who changed it to that. So, yeah, this glitch doesn't exist. And the 13-digit string on the link for Prodigy changes pretty much every single time you try to log in. Anyways, hopefully Mr. Inquiry didn't think his account was hacked because, uh, Prodigy Mapping Player in Camden Bell already knew that I used hacks to copy their accounts. Yeah, that I didn't even use their accounts in the video. So, uh, if Mr. Inquiry's watching, which I doubt he is, sorry. But, yeah, bye.